Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crayfish Obsession here, and today I'm going to be talking about crayfish growth and how that can affect your crayfish and what conditions will affect crayfish's growth. So a lot of people will ask, um, how long will it take for a crayfish to grow up? And this is really a variable because a crayfish growth I feel like more represents the conditions in which the crayfish is being raised in more than its species or natural growth rate. And obviously some crayfish will grow up slower than others, but at the end of the day, it mostly is determined by what kind of conditions are you keeping it in and what kind of temperatures, etc. So now I'm gonna talk about how temperature really affects a crayfish growth rate. And you might just think, well, increasing temperature is going to increase growth rate. And that is true. But I also want to touch on the other things temperature affects. Temperature is not just a two-dimensional variable where if you increase temperature, your crayfish will grow, grow faster. Um, and while it will, um, your crayfish will grow faster and a lot of breeders will keep their tanks at around 80 degrees I wouldn't recommend keeping it higher than 80 degrees um, but 80 degrees is usually what you keep a crayfish at when you want them to breed uh, it usually gets the tropical ones to uh, have eggs and um, mate more than colder water and the babies will grow up faster in 80 degree water so it's beneficial if you are trying to breed your crayfish uh, I'm having the lowest 50 degrees seasonally um, because obviously some people keep crayfish in their cold basements and sometimes it can get to 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, if especially if you're in a colder place so but I wouldn't recommend keeping anything in 50 degrees Fahrenheit long term another important thing to note about temperature like I said temperature isn't just a cut and dry two-dimensional variable temperature increases metabolism the higher the temperature the higher metabolism uh, the higher the metabolism the shorter lifespan your crayfish will live um, so if you're keeping your crayfish in 80 degrees and you really care about that crayfish I would not recommend 80 degrees um, I would usually recommend around uh, 70 and let the temperature drop seasonally um, that is going to probably get you the best lifespan because obviously a lot of tropical fish they need 80 degrees but your crayfish doesn't need 80 degrees uh, and if you're keeping at 80 degrees long term it is going to live a shorter life um, but it will be more active so it really is up to you probably the next most important factor is how much you're feeding them how much food you're giving them um, and an important part to note about this is the substrate. While they do get most of their food directly from your pellet and they go after and eat your pellet, they spend a lot of their time foraging in the substrate. And how much food they get from the substrate when you're not feeding them is really important. Um, and especially if your crayfish still hasn't acclimated to eating your pellets directly uh, and you drop the pellets in and they don't go after it instantly, they're gonna eventually find the pellets, but the pellet will be rotted in inside the substrate. So substrate is really important. Now, as you can see in this 10 gallon eye of pebbles, well, you can't see it anymore, it's changing, but the pebbles are probably not as well recommended uh, for smaller crayfish because the pebbles are harder to manipulate and food will get stuck under the pebbles. Whereas very light substrate like this is probably if you want to have substrate light substrate light gravel is uh how they will get the most food out of what you're feeding them now obviously the more nutritious foods you give them the faster they'll grow but substrate is one of the things that a lot of people don't really realize that will affect them because they spend a lot of time foraging for food and the food they find in the substrate makes up a substantial amount of food they eat because that's what they do in the wild they're detrivores Another important factor of how much food your crayfish is getting is how big the tank is. If the tank is bigger, obviously the crayfish will have a, f a harder time to forage for food. And if your tank is smaller, obviously the crayfish will be getting more food out of the substrate because the tank isn't as big, there's not as much to roam. I think that's a pretty basic concept. Um, but in conclusion, I think 
if you really want to, you could go out for maximum grow out rate. Uh, you could have a small little substrateless tank uh, heated to 80 degrees. But that's not really necessary, and that's kind of what I want to uh, convey in this video, that the how fast your crayfish grows isn't necessarily um, a representation of how well you're caring for it. It's really more of a representation of what conditions you're keeping it in. Like, what I'm saying is that there's not one way to do it. Uh, there's a lot of ways to keep a crayfish, and there's a lot of different ways, and you can use what you like and what you want out of your crayfish pet um it's not necessarily as cut and dry as this is the temperature it needs uh this is the size it needs it really depends on what you want and i feel like that's kind of what a lot of people don't really get because you know a lot of pets in the pet trade aren't that hardy as crayfish and they need a certain temperature and they need this to be this way but crayfish don't they're really hardy and what you do depends on uh, what you want and uh, there's not it's not just one way to do it with crayfish it really depends on what you want out of your pet and what you want to do with your crayfish and yeah so i think that will conclude this video and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah sorry for the reuse footage uh this device doesn't have a lot of storage right now and i just had a device malfunction so I wasn't able to make a video uh, by the end of 2018 again, so sorry.